हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर अजय शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग जेम्स इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट टेक्निकल कैंपस नॉलेज पार्क थर ग्रेटर नोएडा द टॉपिक दैट आई टीच इन दिस सेमेस्टर फॉर फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स is digital communication the topic that i discuss today is noise limitation merit and demerit for pcm system you know uh, the performance uh, of uh, any system is degraded by the noise introduced by the channel in communication system so for noise uh, for pcm system of course noise is one of the you know parameter that degrade the performance of pcm system so the performance of a pcm system is, is influenced by uh, noise sources in that one noise source is channel noise channel noise introduces bit error into the received signal the presence of this noise can be measured in terms of probability of symbol error or bit error rate the meaning is that because of channel noise because of the noise that is coming from channel that we call as a channel noise then there will be a chances of bit error rate first of all try to understand what is bit error rate try to understand that first for example if 10 to if bit error rate of any pcm system is 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 means 1 upon 10 to the power 3 means if 10 to the power 3 means 1000 bit reach to the receiver side then out of this 1000 bit one error come in one bit means out of 1000 bit one bit introduce error when bit introduce error means receiver read 1 as 0 or 0 as 1 these there are only two possibilities either one was transmitted receiver read as 0 or 0 was transmitted receiver read as 1 so this is the possibility so bit error rate is nothing but it is a, the number of bits it is a ratio of number of bits with error upon total number of bits so 10 to the power minus 3 means 1 upon 1000 means out of 1000 bit one bit is in error means one read as 0 or zero read as 1 by your receiver but this can be the bit error rate can be improved or you may say bit error rate can be minimized by increasing signal to noise ratio we will discuss later in this because signal to noise ratio is proportional to the bit error rate right so if you increase bit error is signal to noise ratio means you have to increase signal power with respect to noise power your bit error rate is minimized or improved second is quantization noise that come in the picture because of the step size that you take for example if your step size is say 1 volt right so your 1.6 volt is converted into 2 volt so there is a error of 0.4 volt this is the condition when you choose step size as 1 volt 
if you choose step size as 2 volt then your 1.6 is approximated as 3 volt so there is a error of 1.4 volt right so actually the this quantization noise or you may say quantization error actually depends upon the number of levels that you take if you take less number of levels means your step size is more if you take maximum number of levels your step size is small right so another uh, noise that come in the picture when you talking about pcm system is quantization noise so first is channel noise second is quantization noise now what are the limitation of pcm system uh, choosing a discrete value near the analog signal for each sample lead to quantization error means in PCM system there is 100% possibility that quantization come in the picture because you always do quantization quantization process with the help of quantizer. So if you talking about PCM system, then it's very obvious that quantization error come in the, come in the picture. What engineers can do, engineers can minimize this quantization error. Between samples, no measurement of the signal is made. That is right. Because 1.4 volt, sorry, 1.6 volt also approximated as 2 volt, 1.9 volt also approximated 2 volt, and 1.8 volt also approximated as 2 volt. So between samples, no measurement of the signal is made. That is right. And accurate clock is required for accurate reproduction. Synchronization is very much required in this process. What are the merits? The merits are the, the PCM system is secure, first of all. Second, encoding is possible. That is that is done at the transmitter side. Encoding is done by encoder. So encoding is possible means real numbers converted into one zeros. Very high noise immunity means you know it is this system very very much immune to noise. You know, uh, try to understand this point also. So for example, as far as your receiver is uh, able to identify one zero correctly no matter how your one zero are you know are damaged you know the only thing is your receiver is able to read as correctly so obviously these one zero pulses when reach to the receiver side you know are is totally damaged you know and but if your receiver is able to read these damaged pulses correctly one and zero then uh, no matter the, the thing is that no matter the you know uh, your signal is to be uh, corrupt but if your receiver is able to distinguish this one and zero then it's okay your your information is to be convey in the right direction so convenient for long distance communication means you long distance possible if you put your uh, you know regenerators at uh, certain distances in the channel then it's okay. Good signal to noise ratio. Demerits the circuit is complex uh, because the circuit is complex because you know so many uh, sub circuits are required at transmitter and receiver side. Right? You require uh, you know sampler, you require regenerator, you require decoder, encoder, reconstruction filter, low pass filter. So the circuits are little bit complex. You know? Because you require many other sub circuits to fulfill this <coughs> PCM system to work uh, correctly. The required large bandwidth, bandwidth requirement is also very much uh, very high in this system. Synchronization is required between transmitter as well. That is obvious. Thank you very much. This is all about PCM system.